Hey guys, what's going on? Baru here, and today I have another Borderlands 2 video for you, and this is going to be how to power level your character. Now, there's a lot of people who simply don't want to use Gibbed or can't because console terms of service, but they don't want to go through the whole leveling process of getting another character to 78. So, this is going to show you how to do that in about an hour and a half. And to start off, let's just show you just how fast this experience is. I've, I've just loaded up and I'm already level 7. Now some of you may have seen this method before. I believe Vashi was the original finder of this method. And we're going to be quickly going over how to do this. As you can see, uh, my friend Ryoko is up there just murdering that test dummy to no end. Let's go ahead and put him some skill points. So yeah, this is going to be the fastest way to level your character up. Uh, this can work on any difficulty, but it recommend to do this on Overpower 8. So let's just go ahead and get into how to do this. Alright, so now let's take a look at the gear that we're going to need for this kill. First, you're going to want a Fire Infinity. The prefix and grip are kind of irrelevant. And you're also going to need three Lady Fists. Parts are completely irrelevant. Next, you're going to need a B, preferably OP8, and a Sheriff's Badge. You will not need any grenade or class mod. You also need not, you will not need any skill points, and we'll be turning our bar off for this. So first, let's go over how to exactly get to the test dummy. It's very simple. You're going to also want to make sure that Sanctuary is in the air before you do this. So first, jump over there, and then up here. This whole part is solid, but you're going to want to jump right there at that building. Explosive! I prefer using a grenade. Now you're going to land over here. Hug the right, but not too much, but you want to squeeze in between the vending machine and that. Hug the side here along the vault. And then very important, make sure you don't go too far past that ledge or you'll fall through the world. Even though it looks solid, it's not. So now we're here at the test dummy. And as you can see, he's going to just take damage. Now it's very important that you are on the final mission. You can do the first one, but then you can't use a fire infinity, so I recommend the one where you have to slag the enemy. And you just jump up here and start shooting him in the head, but you'll notice that's not enough to kill him. So we're going to merge together these lady fists into the infinity. And in the description below, you will find a link to how to merge weapons. So, just merging next Lady Fist into the Infinity. And now for our last one. Oh, make a little mistake here. Um, it is very important to make sure that you do not actually slag him, or this will auto-complete the quest. So you're going to need to make sure you have this quest open before you do this. And once that's all done, just find the sort of sweet spot for his head, and there you go. I do recommend turning off gore when you do this, because the bodies will kind of stack up. And even on a good PC, uh, the engine just can't handle all of the blood splatter. So definitely recommend taking off gore if you're going to do this for a long time. But to get to uh, level 72, it should only take you a about an hour and a half. But anyway guys, this has been a quick little tutorial on how to power level your character all the way to 72. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And also don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.